The Triple Infinity is a wiper trick in pen spinning that consists of a series of wiper reverses and passes. Uh, to know how to do the Triple Infinity, you have to know how to do the Double Infinity, and to know how to do the Double Infinity, you can look at my early tutorial that I posted on it. Uh, if you already know it, that's great. If you don't, I suggest you go look at uh, that tutorial before continuing to try to learn the Triple Infinity. Uh, to start out, you want to look, know how to do a wiper, which, uh, wiper reverse, excuse me, which is this. Simple enough. Pass. Um, turn your hand slightly so you can let the pen dangle between fingers, that's what I call it. Um, so, wiper, pass. And you just kind of go like that switching motion I told you about in the double infinity tutorial. Um, I'll try to change my angle here so you can see it better. When you get to this point, which is normally when you do the wiper normal for the regular infinity, you do what you do in the double infinity, which is make a wiper normal and then a pass. And then instead of uh, tilting your hand and then going back like this in the double infinity, you want to continue that pattern again. So you want to do a wiper normal into a pass. Now this part gets tricky because a lot of people's pinky fingers uh, and ring fingers are, aren't are independent enough so that they can move um, without moving the other. So it's going to take a lot of practice on um, getting your pinky and your ring finger to be independent and uh, have a lot of dexterity in them. So once you get up to this point, at, um, after you're done with your little dangling effect or whatever, you want to turn your hand and then you want to sandwich the pen between the back of the pinky finger and the bottom of the, about the midsection of your ring finger. And then you want to kind of have it gripped so that it's tight enough so that the pen won't fall out but loose enough so that it can pivot like that. And then when you do that, you want to have the next finger, which is the middle finger in this case, below the pen so that the pen can slide up this way. And then the pen is transferred. And then you do a wiper into a pass. And then wiper into the pass to get back up to the normal position. So full speed, the triple infinity looks like this. Um, tips of advice mainly for is the problem is the ring and pinky independence. Try to learn how to move them by themselves without affecting the other. I know some people that when they try the, the both fingers move together. So it takes a lot of time to get that part down. Even I still drop it, of course. Um, so just try to work at it. Ma you want to master the double infinity first and then you can try doing the triple infinity and after a while you get the hang of it but sometimes if you find yourself in an awkward position when you're doing the triple infinity by that I mean sometimes like my pinky finger will actually cross under my ring finger like this I don't know why but sometimes it does that just try to figure out what you're doing wrong and why you're going like that and if you're finding this because the pen is like slipping out that means you just have to tighten your grip a little bit then you're swinging around, swinging around, swinging around until you get it. So again, the triple infinity looks like this. And good luck. If you need more help, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube and on the Universal Pen Spinning Board, so go visit it at upsb.info.